Well, I'm back. And I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a pretty rough week and a pretty exhausting mentally uh, kind of week. Uh, I did get my website up. <laughs> I wouldn't call it done. I had it all up, ready to go. Brought my wife in. I said, hey, honey, um, why don't you take a look at this and tell me what you think. And she looked at it and said, looks good, looks good. All right, felt good about myself. Had it up, ready to go. And then she goes, where's all your plans? Plans. Oh, crap. <laughs> so right now, I don't have a section for my plans. I will get that up and uh, promise that that won't take me forever because I don't have that many plans I don't think I've comprised. I think my table saw cabinet and a few of my other latest projects, but um, those should be up. I just got to figure out how you guys can download them. It may just be kind of like a, you know, a right click and then just save it to your computer because, you know, I'm not a big website designer. Um, I'm not terribly savvy. Uh, I try and make things look really good, um, but I'm working with kind of limited software. Um, I'm just kind of doing the best with what I got. I did buy some uh, internet designing software. It's called, it's, if y'all are any savvy to website design, it was called like uh, Freeway. So, it was made by Soft Press Freeway. And um, it was the closest thing that I could find to Apple iWeb. And iWeb, which is what I ended up going back to anyway because I, start, I started trying to use Freeway. And it is freaking confusing to try and get that um, website designed. I mean, it's it's not as simple as dragging and dropping, clicking and typing and blah, blah, blah. And it is involved. Even though they say it's easy and user friendly, it's, no, no. <laughs> you have to use it on a daily basis in order to keep your savviness up and that user friendliness up. And I just don't have that. So I went back to iWeb, designed the website on it. I did find something that was uh, really, really close to iWeb because iWeb's not really made anymore. I, I just still have it on my uh, Mac and you still use it, but you can't uh, get it anymore. And uh, I did find something that's really close to it. Um, I think it's like EverWeb or something like that. And I looked at the videos on that and it's like super close to the, the same kind of user interface. So I'll probably use that and see what more options I can uh, have on my websites. Um, I did have a place for viewer projects and uh, shop, uh, I guess shop tours, like viewer shop tours. And right now to submit those, you just kind of have to click on a link that's on my front page that takes you to an email and you can just post your pics and tell me a, uh, a it doesn't have to be like super detailed, but give me enough that the people can read. That way I don't have to type <laughs> everybody's uh, description up. Um, same goes for your projects. Uh, just tell me about how you came about uh, the design and, and uh, the whole building process. That way people will have really good insight on what it took to get that project built. And again, I won't have to type it all up for you. I'll just give a quick intro and then just copy and paste what it is that you put in there. Um, and people can look at it that way. Uh, I do have a blog on there and you uh, will be able to see uh, a pretty unexpected project that um, I didn't really think would uh, come my way, but a gentleman here locally found me and uh, it was through Facebook he found me and he said that he needed some statue bases and what he made was some bust statues that was basically from the chest up to the top of the head of all of the Oklahoma City Thunder players and um, he's in the process of trying to sell these and he wanted to start out with one uh, base and if he sold the statue um, pretty quickly then he was going to call me up and have have me make more for him and there goes my stupid light again and anyway um, i was pretty excited about that so i went ahead and made a base now i didn't do a video on it but i will say that if he has me make more if he decides that uh, that's something he wants to do then i will do a quick uh, video on it because it's really simple to do uh, i wanted to congratulate jeff burning from the uh, uh, ebay auction he actually was the one that came up with the winning bid for the uh, kids toolbox and it sold for 52 dollars. i thought that was a pretty great number it wasn't 
as high as what I was hoping for, but you know what? I mean, it was a kid's toolbox, and it was just to raise money for the shop and, uh, and the show. So I'm grateful for every penny, and I thank you very much, Jeff. I know that your, prod, or excuse me, your uh, kid's toolbox arrived uh, Monday to your doorstep, so I hope you uh, was able to pick that up, and I and, uh, hope you're impressed with the workmanship, and uh, hope your child that you bought it for is going to enjoy it just as much as uh, the children that I have built them for in the past. So thank you again, Jeff, and congratulations. Uh, one last thing on my website. Uh, I do have a donate button that is that works through PayPal, and you don't necessarily have to have a PayPal account to use it. Uh, you can donate uh, straight from your bank account if you wanted to, but I left it open uh, so anybody can uh, donate any amount of money that they want to. And I, I don't expect donations. I mean, I am grateful if they happen. And if one, if a third of the people that um, subscribe to me, or even a quarter of the people that subscribe to me, just donated one dollar a month uh, out of their pocket, it would go a long, long way to help me uh, keep this show going, buy the things that I need to buy to make necessary upgrades to make the shows better. Uh, being able to put out a new project each and every week that requires funds to be able to buy the materials to do so, and, which is why I started the auction on some of my projects, because that, that helps me get more material. Um, but something like that, if any of you uh, that would like to support free woodworking like this, uh, if you choose to donate, I would greatly appreciate it, and uh, I would pay you back by giving you much better content uh, than what I already have. I do think that this show is is a very successful show so far. The content and uh, workmanship of how I'm pu putting these videos together just keeps growing and I I, I think it's a great show and um, I know you guys are enjoying it and the uh, ads that I'm putting out on YouTube are kind of showing that as well because in less than a year I am almost 10,000 subscribers strong. I'm like 9,700 right now as of today uh, almost 98 actually. Uh, so in 10,000 subscribers in less than a year is just more than I could have hoped for uh, or dreamt. Uh, so I am truly grateful and I hope that this, this channel will grow bigger and better each and every year. Uh, so I would appreciate any kind of help that anybody can offer. Uh, also on my website there is some contact information. There's my address, Facebook, Twitter, Google, um, oh crap, anything that you can do to contact me, it's there. There's also some popular links of some websites and some YouTube channels that I like to watch. And I'll keep adding to that as I go. I just kind of had to stop short because I was trying to get the website out and try and get that off my plate as soon as possible. So uh, if there's anything that you guys want to suggest about my website, about the show, about projects, anything, drop me an email. Everything that you need to know is on my website and uh, I will continue to update it as often as possible. So I hope you guys have a great week. I will uh, probably have something this weekend as far as a project goes and we'll get this uh, uh, thing kicked off again and kind of get back in gear. So uh, that's it. Have a good day.